This is Code.org, and we are ready to record a video of our awesome, incredible performance task. Now, first, let's keep the requirements in mind. And here they are. So your video, you need to show input to your program. If you have a conditional, which you should, you want to show the input that is rendered when it is true and when it's false. I'll show you what I mean. At least one aspect, yeah, your program uh, functionality, output produced by your program, right? So your program should be changing something, adding something to your screen, that output. You cannot have any identifying information about yourself. Yes. Voice narration. You hear me talking. You won't hear you talking on the video. It needs to be one of these formats, less than a minute and under 30 megabytes. The application that I'm going to use, it is also sometimes recommended by code.org and it will make most of those steps super easy. So let's get to that. I'm going to Google Screencast-O-Matic, probably spell it wrong. doesn't matter. There we are. So here it is, and I can just click. What's great about this, you, let me hit sign. Nope, you don't need to sign up. You don't need an account. You need nothing special. You need to hit record. And I'm going to click launch free recorder. It will begin to start up. If this isn't occurring for you, you might want to check a pop-up blocker or any security settings that might be next to your address bar in your Chrome console. Up, oh, and here's what we want to see. Now I'm actually going to click off this for a moment. Trooper and go back here great and so this is perfect make sure the narration here we do not want narration like we've already said for our video so you need to select none 15 minutes is plenty of time now to make my application look a bit nicer instead of having it over here i'm going to go ahead and click share and then oh let me just hide that for a moment and then i'll click on this at url and i'm going to right click and say go to you could also just copy and paste it to get here. The nice thing about this is it has a bit more of a clean aesthetic. Now, to get this down to the right size, I was thinking I'm gonna shrink whoop, and whoop. And it's up to you how large you would like. I'm gonna do a bit smaller probably. You can always adjust Chrome by like so. All right, so I think that's good for my app. I'm gonna go ahead and click record. Now, I need to show interaction with it. So I'm gonna click on start here and yep, yep. Okay, no, category nominee, let me guess a year. I'm gonna guess a year that will trigger a particular part of my code to work, a year that's not accurate because I want all my conditionals to run. So I'm gonna hit submit. And when the year doesn't work, 1792, there was no Oscar that year, no Oscar winners for this year. Let me click random year, and this will be valid, 2013 winners. I'll show one more time, start, and now, for midnight in Paris, I'll go ahead and enter year, and submit. And although I got it wrong, it will still show the year's results of winners. So now I've shown the basic application, or the basic use of my app. That's all I need. I'm gonna hit pause, 50 seconds, that's fine, it needs to be under a minute. I'll click done. No, thanks. I'll leave mine as is. And let's go ahead and click. I'll title mine. Oscar app. Select a folder you would like it to be saved in. Documents is fine. And publish. Now, if you want to double check the size, you can always click browse folder here and it will pop up. I can right click and look at the properties. Mine is one megabyte, so plenty of space left. And there we are. I can go ahead and upload and add this video to wherever it is needed. We have a perfect performance task video. Ta-da!